In 1965, Michael Bloomfield was fast becoming known as one of America's finest guitarists. In June of that year, he received a phone call from someone he had met several years earlier in Chicago, a guy by the name of Bob Dylan, who was looking for an electric guitarist who could help him create music that was a departure from the folk music that he was most closely associated with. Michael Bloomfield was at the top of Dylan's list, and so the two journeyed to Bob's Woodstock home to rehearse tunes that would become the basis of Bob Dylan's next Columbia release, an album called Highway 61 Revisited. On a rainy June 15, 1965, Michael Bloomfield joined Bob Dylan and a number of New York's finest studio musicians in Columbia's Midtown Studios for what would turn out to be a historic, though somewhat chaotic, recording session. Here's how Michael recalled the session in a 1973 KSAN interview. There was no concept. No one knew what they wanted to play. No one knew what the music was supposed to sound like other than, than Bob who had the chords and the words and the melody. But as far as saying we're going to make folk rock records or we're going to... No one had any idea what to do. None. They had the best studio drummer. They had a bass player, a terrific guy named Russ Vegas. It was his first day playing electric bass. He was scared about that. No one understood nothing. The producer was a non-producer. I don't know who it was. I think it was a black guy named Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson he right. didn't know what was happening, man. He just, I think they wanted rock and roll. They tried, we did 20 alternate takes of every song. And it was, got ridiculous because they were long songs. And poor Dylan cranking out these 14-minute sad-eyed ladies or whatever. But no, that wasn't the long. It was Desolation Row. Doing it three times and finally saying, are you, are you guys realize it's a 10-minute song? You're making me do it three times, you know, get it together. Yet, it, it, it would never, he would never, it was just never like, you know, here's one of the tunes, now we're just going to learn it and work out the arrangement. No, I mean, that just wasn't done. The thing just sort of fell together in this uh, haphazard, half-ass way.